Thank you for clicking on the video. Here today, this is the third episode in my Shop Goodwill budget home theater build series. And today we're talking about center channels. And in my opinion, the center channel is probably the most important speaker in terms of your home theater build, your surround sound system. Uh, we're not talking two channel music or anything like that. We're talking center channels for your home theater. So clear dialogue, one that's going to give you a uh, good range in vocals, uh, you know, so not real cramped on like the high end or low end or muddied or whatever. We want stuff that's pretty good. Uh, and again, like I always do in these uh, series of videos, talking about some of the rules. Uh, this one's a little different because speakers don't really matter too much in terms of like a 1080 or Atmos or any of this sort of stuff. Uh, what we're looking at, though, is high quality tech that sometimes is older uh, or maybe a little under the radar and that you're going to get the best bang for your buck. One thing, one ground rule that I do have on this, I am not looking at local pickup items, especially with speakers as we get into the next couple videos with like tower speakers and stuff and bigger bookshelf speakers. The Shop Goodwill site much like eBay, is going to have local pickup options. I'm not looking at that because I don't know where everybody lives. I know where I live. There's no real Goodwill Center that's going to allow me to pick something up that's in uh, a reasonable range for me to drive to go get it. So I'm excluding all that. There are some good deals to be had with local pickup. If you live in an area that has a Goodwill Center that's going to do local pickup, uh, mainly because you have to live there or be in a reasonable driving distance that you're willing to drive to go get it. I'm not looking at that for the purposes of these videos for the speakers. So for this one, my next couple videos, we're looking at shipped items. I'm not looking at local pickups, but that is an option. If you go on Shop Goodwill, you're going to see that some items are marked as pickup only. Uh, so before you bid, definitely check to make sure the shipping is available if you're not in an area where you can just drive to that location to pick it up. So with that all out of the way, I've got three speakers in this video here today. Uh, like I said, my other ones, these items are probably going to be sold and gone off Shop Goodwill. Uh, I'm not trying to tell you to buy necessarily these specific items per se, but what I'm really trying to show you is items and what you can find on Shop Goodwill, what does pop up on there. So the first one we're going to talk about here today is a Klipsch uh, center channel. This is the Klipsch RC52 Model 2 or version 2. Uh, I'm not a huge Klipsch fan myself. I feel like the horns on Klipsch can sometimes be overbearing uh, for my ears. I have had one Klipsch center channel way, way, way years, years, years ago uh, that I found. I didn't care for it all that much. I sold it pretty quickly. Uh, and that was back before we even lived here at this house. But I have used them once or twice. I didn't care for them. I think they're too shrill and whatever. But Klipsch does carry a pretty good name in the home audio community. So this RC52 uh, is a decent center channel for what it is. It's not the highest quality, you know, line of Klipsch speakers. Uh, it's relatively moderate, decent size, so it's not something ginormous that you're going to have to fit in somewhere. Uh, but it's a decent enough speaker. It's going to give you a fair bit of detail and clarity. The base mid-range levels for like male uh, voices and stuff should be pretty decent on this. Uh, and if you're building a Klipsch system, you want to have Klipsch, you know, you're going to look at something like this. Uh, as of the time of this recording, there's two bids on this unit with a couple days left. Uh, it's sitting at $17 plus about $25 in shipping. Again, for something like this, Klipsch carries a good name in the, the community. Uh, these speakers are probably several hundred dollars, you know, at least 150, 200 on their lower line products. So if you could get this for, you know, under 75 or a hundred dollars all in, and you're wanting to build a Klipsch system, this is a pretty good deal. Uh, there are some other Klipsch, uh, speakers on there. Ones that I felt weren't as good a quality as these. So yeah, you may pay a little less, uh, but the quality is not going to be as good. They're a lot smaller. The drivers aren't as big on it. Uh, you know, I would look more for a reference or premier line 
item if you're going Klipsch. Those are their mid and upper level uh, systems. So for this, not a bad deal. Again, not my cup of tea, but if you're looking for that type and you're into Klipsch and the horn loaded uh, tweeters, this would be a decent option. Uh, again, now this is another one I have no personal experience with. I've heard really good things about them. This is a Martin Logan Motion 30i center channel. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about this one. Admittedly, I kind of forgot to do some research on this. I know Martin Logan carries a pretty good name. They're considered a pretty high quality brand in uh, the audio community. I've never owned any Martin Logan stuff. Um, this one, again, it's sitting at two bids with, uh, this one's actually got quite a bit. It's got like six or seven days left on it at the time of recording here. Uh, sitting at $15 with two bids, plus again, uh, about $23, $24 in shipping. I would venture a guess just because of the nature of the speaker and the name on it. This one's probably going to go pretty high. I would venture a guess this one's probably going to go at least for $100, if not more. Um, just from what I've seen in the past and knowing the name Martin Logan. Uh, this one is kind of unique because this has a ribbon tweeter. I've never listened to a ribbon tweeter. I've heard from other videos and other forums that it's pretty good on like vocals and uh, voices and things by the nature of how the tweeter is constructed versus a cone or a horn. Uh, so that is something that's going to be kind of unique to this speaker that's not going to be in the other two. Um, but again, I'm going to guess because it's Martin Logan and it's got the ribbon tweeter and this one seems to be a pretty high quality if you look at the picture, kind of a glossy uh, finish and all this sort of stuff. This one is probably going to go at least for $100 if not more. So you're probably going to spend the most money out of all three of these probably on this speaker. But if this is something you want, uh, again, you're probably going to get this for a pretty decent price in comparison to what it was when it first came out. Now, moving on to the third and uh, final speaker that's here on the list. Uh, now, this one is with my other videos. This one's going to be the secondhand home theater approved by only because I've had this speaker, not this one specifically, but this model of speaker here in my home theater in the past. And this is a, a Boston Acoustics VR10 center channel. <laughs> This is the original center channel that I had in my home theater when I started this uh, voyage on YouTube back in the beginning of 2024. Uh, I had this actual model of speaker. This is a very good center channel. It has really good drivers. It's a three-way uh, speaker, which the other two are only two-way. So this one has both a woofer, a mid-range, and a tweeter on it. Uh, this one is really good. Like I said, I've had a Boston VR10 in my home theater. I used it for quite a while. This is my approved purchase. Uh, it's a very good speaker. As of right now, it's got about four or five days left uh, at the time of recording. $14.99 plus about $22, $23 in shipping. No bids. I would venture a guess this one at max will get maybe a couple bids on there. It may not get any bids. Uh, for under like $30 shipped on this thing is a very good deal. And this is a very high quality, very good speaker. Um, I would definitely, like I said, say out of all the ones I've seen, yeah, that Martin Logan would be neat because it's something I've never had before. But in terms of the overall, if you're looking price to performance ratio, uh, this Boston Acoustic speaker would be the one I would buy all day out of these. Uh, and that's because I have firsthand experience with this model of speaker. Uh, one thing to note about this, as well as the other ones, uh, the Klipsch is a little bit smaller. The Mar Martin Logan is going to be a pretty good size. Uh, this Boston Acoustic is going to be a big speaker. It's going to be similar to my Infinity Beta that's sitting behind me. So it's going to be pretty big. So you're going to need to have space to actually sit this thing if that's what you're wanting to go uh, and do. And to round out the video on this, there's a bunch of other center channels on uh, Shop Goodwill of varying brands, varying qualities uh, out there. I picked ones that I thought would be interesting for this video and would be a good budget buy because uh, a lot of them you're going to see like Ankyo and Pioneer and Sony and Yamaha. This stuff isn't bad, I guess, but they're all very entry level. These are all more advanced level speakers that you're going to get for a good deal. Um, 
again, one other thing that other people, depending on your space and your setup, you may forego a center channel completely and just get an actual bookshelf or a freestanding tower speaker. Uh, I know a lot of like higher end home theaters do that. I don't really have that ability in my space here, uh, but I have heard that that can sometimes be a better option because the way the dispersion and everything is set up uh, with those type of speakers is more conducive to a center channel versus the like horizontal uh, center channel design. But if you're wanting an actual dedicated center channel that's not a bookshelf or a tower speaker, uh, these are my options to look at. And you can definitely find stuff like this on there. Um, my pick again would be the Boston Acoustics and the Boston Acoustics do pop up quite a bit. Klipsch pops up quite a bit. Uh, the oddity, the rarity, the outlier is that Martin Logan. You're not going to see a whole lot of those, but you're going to see a lot of like Klipsch, JBL, Polk Audio, stuff like that that's going to be in the lower to mid ranges on there. But in terms of what I think is the best bang for your buck, it would be the speakers, especially that Boston Acoustics. Uh, be on the lookout. My next video that's going to come out in this series is going to be about the left and right main speakers uh, and that'll be the next one in line to come out so be on the lookout for that and i will see you in the next video thank you